Okay. Hi, my name is Nicole and I work for Sims Tree Health Specialist and we are your tree doctors in layman's terms. But what we do is we go out and diagnose and treat sick or diseased trees. Um, we'll give you reports on what's going on with them, maybe provide some prescription treatments, some injections or any tree spraying that we do, we can help you out there. Um, we also fund a, a six acre botanical garden uh, where it's also our research center, it's called Sims Tree Learning Center. We provide classes on it, as including our Insects 101 and our TLC Wildlife Aware class that's coming up. And, this, and we have our insect collection. And you guys right provide here. injections for trees? Yes, we do. Yes, what we kind do. of injections? Uh, we could do soil injections or trunk injections. So it just depends on what What's wrong with the tree and your arborist will go over kind of what's the best plan of action to treat whatever is going on with your tree. For the six and insects or just for insects? It can be for insect pests, it can be for diseases, any fatal diseases or even some protection treatments. There's so many things out there that you you know you want to keep your trees protected and, and keep them healthy because you know that's what keeps them looking good and keeps them valuable. For fruit trees too or any any type of tree? All trees, all trees, for fruit trees, evergreen trees, deciduous trees, tall trees, little trees, even little weeds if you want some. Can you tell me a little bit about your insect collection here? Yeah, the insect collection is by our master arborist, Susan Sims, and this is what she's collected throughout her, her years. We have one dedicated just for tree pests. Um, most are local here, most are from Southern California, kind of here and there. A few from out of state, but Can most you of them local. A few of your insects. Yeah, like over here, you kind of have a an interesting, scary one. You got a a spider, a spider wasp, and what they'll do is they'll fight with tarantulas, and when they win, they'll lay their eggs inside the tarantula, and then the eggs will hatch and eat the tarantula from the inside. And how long does that process last? Well, I'm not sure. Do you know how long that process lasts? No, I don't have a period of time. It would be somewhat weather dependent though. Yeah, everything with insects is, is generally weather and environmental dependent. And I mean, some other insects we have, like we have this little case that has some of our borers in it. And and this is just a, just a touch of what we have that is at our museum at the research center at Sims Tree Learning Center. And we even, uh, with us, I have some of the damage that they do. Like over here, we have the eucalyptus longhorn borer. He goes into the tree and then they, the larva will eat through and make these huge tunnels throughout the tree. And unfortunately, this can be a fatal pest for the tree. So we want to make sure to protect your trees and to get them treated as soon as you see any signs of, of holes on the outside. You definitely want to get what that taken care of. What indications, uh, what sort of symptoms will a tree show besides the holes? Uh, that they're being attacked by that type of bore. Besides the holes that are in the trunk, you can start seeing some dieback in the trees and um, some other pests that... Maybe secretion of sap or something like that? Occasionally, yeah, because it's usually a defense system when there's sap coming out of the tree. You know, they're trying to push out the insects. So that's definitely an issue. Uh, some other samples here we have. Unfortunately, a, kind of a common mistake that we have with some, you know, unexperienced uh, landscapers is that you know they leave the ties around the trees and they don't they don't remember to come back and get them and then unfortunately the ties the tree grows around the ties and you know once it's too deep in there you really can't take it out without damaging the tree so you know we try to to remind people to make sure that they remember to take the, the tree ties off usually when a tree is planted the, the ties really only have to be there for about two years and you know, when they put the, the wood stakes next to the trees, you don't want the wood stakes completely up against the trunk of the tree. When they're up against the trunk, it prevents the tree from be, being able to build up wind resistance. So, you know, you want to make sure you're checking up on your ties, that your stakes are not right up against the trunk. And that'll be best for about two years, and then you can take them off. Um, some other samples we have, we have some fungus samples. Right here we have what is called Ganoderma. That is our, it's a wood decaying fungus. 
Usually when you see this on the tree, it's not a good sign. It means that there's decay going on inside the tree. And usually it's not very much that you can do once you see that. Except, you know, prolong the life of the tree once you see that. And then over here we have our collection, just a small collection, of circling and girdling roots. Usually the results of, you know, when people grow trees in containers and they don't transplant them soon enough, the roots will start growing around and around. And, you know, roots, they'll grow the whole time that a tree is alive. And if they're grown in a circle, they're eventually going to keep growing around and around and unfortunately choke the tree and prevent it from getting the nutrients that it needs. And usually once it gets to that point, there's really not much you can do. Because um, even if you were to cut huge roots, it's really not good to cut huge roots that are, try not to cut them over two inches in diameter. Can you tell me a little bit more about your program and maybe even the cost of it, if it's okay? Uh, oh, yeah. Where are you so, guys located at? How should people find out about you guys? So if you guys want to find out some more information about our classes, you can go to www.simstrees.com. That's S-I-M-S-T-R-E-E-S.com. We have an events section, and on the calendar it will list all of the events that we are a part of, that we will be at or hosting. And that can also take you to our gardens website, which is simstreelearningcenter.com. Also, uh, I'm sorry, simstlc.com. And some of the classes we have coming, um, we have our Insects 101 class, where we teach, we're teaching the green industry, you know, about the important insects that are affecting the arboriculture and the horticulture industry. So we'll teach you what, what, which ones they are, the basics of them, identification, uh, disease control, vector control, any of that kind of stuff. We go over the basics of that. We also started a program. Um, it's called the TLC Wildlife Aware Program. We started noticing that. People, especially with cell phones, you know, birders, preservationists will start uh, videotaping tree trimmers, you know, without their knowledge. And the tree trimmers really don't know that they could be violating these laws they didn't know exist that protect the wildlife that live in these trees. Fish and game don't really care if you don't know that these laws exist. So we started a program that we would teach the green industry about these laws so that they can be aware and they can keep them out of trouble and also, you know, preserve our wildlife as well. Kind of helps, kind of a win-win situation for both. So that's just two of our classes coming up. Um, other classes we started hosting was a Soils 101 class. We started teaching the basics of healthy soils and what's not so healthy. Um, we will be hosting a Fungi 101. We'll go over the basics of um, beneficial and not so beneficial fungus. And most likely Tree 101, just kind of teach you know, beginning arborists just about the basics of trees. You guys give out some sort of certification for this? We do. Most of our classes we try to do as a graduate class. So we'll teach you the information. Uh, you'll take a test at the end, and usually we try to keep it, you know, open book, open note, open handout. And then once you pass that test, we'll give you a diploma so that you can graduate the class. And it gives you proof that you took the class. And uh, can you, do you mind telling me the cost of it, what each class is? Or? Most of our costs range between $95 for the class to $125 for the class. We do offer early bird rates. Um, and all of that information will be up on the website when we announce um, the, the coming classes. And it, it's an, usually an all-day class, usually between, we try to do about four to six CEUs for ISA, DPR, um, IUFC, all, all the main uh, green industry organizations that offer CEUs. We try to cover all the basic topics. Okay.